Alright, what's going on everybody? So, car video. I don't know when this is going to be out because I am currently on my way to work. It is Monday morning. Um, and I went to the game yesterday, didn't get home till 10.30 last night because I had to drive back from Cleveland. So, and then I was running on like two hours of sleep, so I literally just could not do a video, so I'm sorry. Um, and that, that the story yesterday is just... Uh, separate video in its own because I mean it was literally the best worst day of my life like I dislocated my finger playing catch in the muni lot uh, like just little things like that it was just not not okay um, but aside from that whole situation I want to talk about the game itself because this everybody's talking about it and of course the obvious is a it's unacceptable to lose that football game you're up 13 with like a minute 30 left and everybody had their own reactions right i was with nick carnes and cozy and cozy was the screaming throwing stuff pissed off reaction carnes lost his damn voice before the game even started because he was hammered and screamed here we go brownies for probably 15 minutes just walking to the game so he was quiet and just pissed off and then you had me and i literally we sat there probably 30 minutes after the game in our seats and i was just kind of laughing to myself because i'm like i literally had to re-go over it over and over and over again to kind of figure out how this even happened like i tweeted it out this morning the Cleveland Browns, when you have a 0.1% chance of winning, you are still in the game when you play us because I, it, it's just an absolute disaster. And it is unacceptable to everybody who's saying that this game is unacceptable. And I understand everybody's pissed. You can blame whoever you want. Nick Chubb is not to be blamed for that game. I don't care. Listen, the man scored. It is not his fault. Your defense sucks right now. Um, but anyways, so, all right, who's it on, right? And Jeff Howard, I guess, is the DB's coach. I could be wrong on that, but, um, he should be fired. And this conversation on Joe Woods is an interesting one because this was kind of in the back of my head it was a little bit of a worry because we've seen a lot of these things from joe woods last year and i was like all right well hopefully this year that's not going to be a problem because you figured that out or you should have well here we go again now two games in a row late in the fourth quarter blowing leads that you should have easily uh, had no problem maintaining that is unacceptable so Listen, you could sit here and you can blame players. Grant Delpit was not great. Denzel Ward was terrible yesterday. Um, but here's, here's where I stand. The players themselves are not bad players. Like, we know this. We know Denzel Ward is a great corner. We know Greg Newsom's great. John Johnson's proven before he got to Cleveland. Delpit, I mean, you know, we can talk about that because he's young and he hasn't really had a ton of time in the league yet. But... At the end of the day, the players are not the problem, in my opinion. Now, the players' miscommunication, that might be a problem, but it stems from an even bigger problem in my eyes, and that is the defense, the defense as a whole. Why is there so much miscommunication, not just last year, but this year? This is now two years in the same scheme. There's no excuse for miscommunication. So if it's the players not understanding their jobs, that's on Joe Woods. That's on your position coaches. Um, if it's your defensive coordinator and Joe Woods just not putting them in the right spot, that's on him too. So no, no matter how the cookie crumbles here, in my opinion, I'm blaming Joe Woods for a lot of this. And I understand it's not his job to go out on the field and play football. But if you're not making things easy for these guys, right, if it's a scheme thing, and guys are just in the wrong spots or whatever, then change it up so they know specifically what they're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Instead of passing off coverages 
when they're not supposed to. Like, this team is not, this, the roster is not built to be a heavy zone team. I'm sorry. We keep continuing trying to do that, and it just does not make sense to me. So, I personally, I, I blame Joe Woods. Um, I blame the players. I blame Stefanski for some of it. Obviously, Jacoby threw the pick in the end, which ultimately cost you the game. But I just can't put a ton of blame on the offense at all. I can't put a ton of blame on really anybody else. So that's kind of my game reaction. But let me know what you guys think. Sorry this is late. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.